If Immersion is processing ACH payments in the virtual terminal, they may want to change the default SEC code that's passed along on all transactions. So if you go to the check sale page, there is an entry method of SEC code, and if you select it, this account has all of them available, but most merchants will only have a couple of these. But there are some notable ones like Web, which is the default for a lot of processors, PPD, which is essentially when the customer signs a piece of paper saying they authorize the transaction. There's CCD, which is a business to business transaction. But there's many different ones here, and based on the business model that the merchant has and who they're selling to, they may want a different one to be defaulted than Web or again, in some processors, PPD. So to do this, let's say we have a merchant who needs to default CCD because they're doing a lot of business to business transactions. So it'd be easier for them if they didn't have to select this from the dropdown every time. So to do that, they're gonna to go to their settings, scroll down to the bottom and we have SEC code configuration. And this is very simple. You just select the SEC code from the dropdown. So we'll select CCD, hit save, and that's it. The options have been saved. If we go back to do a new sale, you can see corporate cash disbursement, CCD, is auto-selected. So this transaction will run with it. You can, of course, change it on a per-transaction basis. But if it's easier for them to have all their transactions default to something, that settings page, again, under settings, SEC code configuration is where they can go ahead and set that. If they want to set it to anything else, let's set it to ARC. Go ahead and do that, and we can go back to the sale, and we should see that selected. And we do.